Hello everybody, my name is Michael, and in today's video what we're going to be doing is this right here. So if that looks exciting to you guys, please carry on and watch the video. Oh, and just one more thing before we go. Please consider like, commenting, and subscribing if you enjoy the video. But now with all that out of the way, let's carry on with the video. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be starting off with some deck tan from Vallejo here. Now, uh, these WizKids miniatures are already pre-primed, so we don't have to worry about uh, priming up our nice eagle here. We can just start by painting, so it, it takes out the first step nice and easy. And the deck tan color, I'm going to be applying pretty much over the entirety of our miniature, because I want a nice uh, neutral color to start off with. And um, one thing I am actually doing with the giant eagle here is I've used uh, some references and images uh, from online at uh, different eagles and hawks and all sorts of uh, birds of prey to get the uh, look I want for this miniature because I'm um, looking at the sort of official artwork and the way to paint this miniature it's very uh, plain and brown uh, and very very simple I wanted to ramp it up a little bit add a little bit more style and flair to the miniature so uh, we'll be going over some of the ways that I'm going to be doing to paint this miniature up Okay, so now we have that deck tan all laid down. I'm going to come in now with some charred brown. This is a nice dark deep brown, and I'm going to be wanting it for uh, the backs of the wings here. Now, I'm only going to be painting uh, pretty much the uh, back side of the miniature, so just all along the back and across the feathers here, just on the, the top side of the miniature, the very part you can see here. Um, I want to give this a nice good overall covering, uh, especially since this miniature has a lot of... Uh, awesome feather details on it so we want to make sure we get all in there now i am going to do this in uh two or three uh nice thin coats as you can see here to really get into all the little nooks and crannies this will take a little bit of time with this miniature since it does have so much uh detail sculpted into it and it's gonna use a lot of your paint very quickly so just being aware uh, about that as well and while we still have the brown here uh and looking at my images so still just with our charred brown as you can see uh, I'm going to be drawing some patterns on the underside of the wings. Uh, not too many eagles have patterns on the underside of the wings, but quite a lot of hawks do. And I, I like the idea of uh, putting a little bit of a pattern design on here. So what I'm doing is uh, these inner wings here uh, before the very uh, large outside wings. I'm just painting in the very tips and the edges around them. Just giving a nice little uh, rounded spot on there and just picking them out. Uh, as well as that, I'll also be doing uh, a little bit of uh, like feather striping on the tails. So I'm just going feathers here. Uh, I'm just going along, placing a little stripe along each tail and progressively going up closer and closer to the body. Now this is going to be quite difficult as is uh, feet and stuff in the way, but you'll be able to get through it. And then once you have the feather pattern you desire, I'm coming in with some flat yellow here. Um, and I'm going to be using the flat yellow to be painting up uh, the beak and the feet. So just coming in here and really making sure we get good coverage onto the beak and feet here. Now, uh, birds of uh, prey and stuff, they have all different colors of uh, feet and beaks. Um, and most of the inspiration I've seen it ranges from uh, black to brown uh, to yellow uh, to a sort of a khaki color. I'm going with some nice bright yellow here because we want a little bit of color differential in here and i think the nice bright yellow is going to bounce off these other colors really well okay now with our beak and feet picked out we're going to come in now with some squid pink and all i'm going to be doing is painting up our eagle's tongue just giving a nice uh, sharp pointed brush in there so you can really get into the back of the mouth i also forgot to mention i also painted the eye in a yellow color as well uh, eagles also have a little bit of uh, variety in eye color but i wanted that nice bright yellow in there as well so just being very careful to not paint over too far and anyway, you don't want the pink. Okay, now with that tongue picked out, we're going to come in now with some basalt grey. Now, the basalt grey is quite a dark uh, grey, nearly uh, almost black colour. And I'm going to be using it to be picking out the claws. As you can see, I didn't want to do straight black claws. I wanted a little bit lighter claws uh, than that. And I'm also going to be uh, just being very careful. And I'm going to be painting a little bit of a, a stripe on the the very tip of the beak of our uh, giant eagle here because I noticed uh, looking online some eagles have uh, sort of marking on their beak and I quite like that idea so I'm going to go with that right here and add just another little bit of visual interest to our 
sort of plain miniature that, that we've got here. Okay, so now our eagle's coming along quite well. What I'm going to do is come on some charred brown and some mahogany brown, which is a slightly lighter brown. Now, you can use uh, any lighter brown for this uh, situation here. And all I'm going to be doing is doing a dry brush just along the back side of the wings here uh, to add a little bit more depth and detail into the miniature, uh, being very careful not to go over anywhere that we don't want it, um, and just to really bring out all the nice uh, little bits of detail that all these feathers have. They actually have... Uh, quite a lot of little individual lines there to really bring out uh, the feather look of the miniature. So we want to highlight that a little bit. So coming in with a lighter brown to really help uh, show those parts off. And then once that is complete, what we're going to be doing now is coming in with some Agrax Earthshade. Now, the Agrax Earthshade here, of course, is a brown wash. And since our eagle is very uh, brown in color in there and... Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying it over the entirety of the miniature. That's everywhere the deck tan is, all the yellow that we'll place on the miniature, absolutely everything. I'm going to be giving a nice uh, liberal coating here of the Agrax Earthshade. And as you can see, as I'm placing it on here, it's immediately bringing out all the nice depth and detail that is sculpted into this miniature and really popping out those feathers really, really well. So giving it a nice uh, good coat. Now, one thing to be aware of when you're uh, placing the Agrax Earthshade over this miniature is because it has so much detail and grooves and uh, spots in between parts of the feathers, it can be very, very easy for the wash to uh, pull up on the miniature. So be very, very aware of when you're doing this over the miniature that you are making sure that it's not pulling anywhere you don't want it to. And to stop it pulling, all you have to do is come in with uh, no wash on your brush and just dab your brush in there slightly and it will suck up all of that uh, wash that you don't want in there and you can see here that it's bringing out these details really really well and i'm just being uh, quite liberal here i don't want to uh, make it too dark on the miniature here but just enough to show out exactly how i want it and now with all that agrax earthshade all dried and complete what we're going to be doing now is just coming in with a little bit of black and all I'm going to be doing is picking out the eyes of this eagle, trying very carefully to make it look like he's not looking in funny directions. Um, and then once you've done this, your miniature will be complete. Uh, it does have a couple of little rocks sculpted into the bottom of the base, so you just want to put some nice uh, stone colouring on there, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to go with the whole scene on this base, so the eagle's flying nicely over a little picturesque scenery, but it's totally up to you what you want to do here. And with all that completed, we've finally finished painting up our giant eagle from the Pathfinder Battles Wiz Kids range. So we only used a few paints here, so that's nice and quick and easy paint job to get done. But what we've done is we've used some inspiration from real life eagles and hawks to change it from its very base generic sort of brown eagle looking that they use for the back of, back of the packaging and spruce it up to something that will be a little bit more eye-catching on the table. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys, whether you like to follow along or you just enjoy watching me paint up some miniatures. So once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.